Panginoon ay simula ng karunungan. Ang kanyang kapuri ay manatili magpakailanman. Puri In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, dear friends, to our Eucharistic celebration on this uh, day, 21st of uh, August, which is the memorial of St. Pope Pius X who made a great impact to the church when he reformed the liturgy, like, for example, the uh, singing in the liturgy, or the singing of the liturgy, the uh, communion of children and of adults, making it uh, more frequent, and many other reforms in the church. We thank the Lord for his gift to the church, such a great leader in uh, promoting the, uh, a more vigorous Christian life. To celebrate worthily this Eucharist, let us implore God's mercy and forgiveness for all of us, for the whole world. And together we pray. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude. Graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the Spirit of the Lord 
and set me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction, so that I saw how many they were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, See, I will bring spirit into you, that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin, and put spirit in you, so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, Prophesy to the spirit, prophesy, son of man, and say to the spirit, Thus says the Lord God. From the four winds come, O spirit, and breathe into these slain, that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves, and have you rise from them. O oh, my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, those whom He has redeemed from the hand of the foe and gathered from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. They went astray in the desert wilderness, the way to an inhabited city they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits He rescued them, and He led them by a direct way to reach an inhabited city. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his wondrous deeds to the children of men, because he has satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with good things. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Mga good morning sa mga sa ibang bansa na umaga pa. As we celebrate today the uh, feast or memorial of Saint uh, Pius X, I am reminded that when I was in the mission, we should, we used to celebrate the uh, the day of the catechists. No, I do not know in the Philippines if it is uh, celebrated also as. Uh, the day of catechist today. And uh, I heard that some schools already started their classes. I have two teachers here. Now, they have started already online or mixed or what they call it. And uh, it reminds us of uh, the uh, importance of formation, uh, Christian formation, especially uh, the saint, Saint Pius the the tenth. Um, if I look back my experience of learning, of education, the uh, there are some teachers, professors that I appreciate most, and most of these are those who were who would who were able to point out the essentials in the course they were teaching us, especially uh, talking about philosophy and theology. You know? Those who would give organized, systematic, coherent presentation of the subject matter. If I recall, I, I go back I can still remember, for example, how they, uh, they organized their subject matter and still remember these. You know? Remember these teachers, professors who could simplify complicated concepts. Then learning becomes fulfilling and interesting. In today's gospel, we find Jesus making that beautiful and useful summary, if we may call it so, of the commandments, which is at the heart of uh, the teaching of the Bible, no? pointing precisely to the greatest of these commandments, the commandments to love God and to love one's neighbor. Jesus being a good teacher or the best teacher pointed out the essentials of the commandments of God. What makes Jesus uh, the summary, when Jesus makes the summary and, and the teaching interesting and useful is that we should note the commandments and laws of the Jewish people were enormous 
According to scholars, there are more than 600, 613, I think. And uh, to know the essentials of this would be a difficult task. Maybe even the lawyers would be hard up of knowing every, every law. How much more an average mortals who are into other concerns of life like uh, other areas of life or people who are concerned only of mainly of surviving so when Jesus summarized and pointed out the essentials of the law it must have been a great relief for his followers to learn this and even the lawyer who interrogated him in the gospel today couldn't say anything or contradict him. Our life, many times, is complicated. Or as spiritual writers would say, we even more, we complicate even more what is already complicated. So the first lesson maybe that we can learn from Jesus today is to learn to identify the essentials of our life and hold on to them. And the teaching of Jesus is already the essential, the commandment to love God and neighbor. Maybe the challenge is To follow is to, rather to, for us is to uh, express and live these commandments in concrete. Not only in the sphere of spiritual life that we need to simplify and emphasize the essentials, but also in our everyday life and relationships. This pandemic and lockdowns provided us with an experience that led us to move beyond this, what we identified as normal things into the new normal. We are invited now to see and appreciate other values that are even more fun fundamental than what we are accustomed to. We are invited, for example, to see other values like relationships more than anything else, more than other concerns like our profession, our success, our work, business etc. It is leading us to consider what are the essentials. Jesus, the greatest teacher, wants us to get to the core and not lost in the peripheries or peripherals of things. Also, he calls us to simplify our life to move beyond the complications of life. He has identified the essential of life, and that is to love. Amen. Let our prayers show that we love the Lord God with all our heart, with all our soul, mind, and strength. Let our prayers show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. For every prayer, let our response be, Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That the church, through its leaders, may bring the faithful to a deeper knowledge and love of God, 
we pray. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That obedience to God's law may guide those who govern us, we pray. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That our homes may be places of God's presence where everyone is taught to care and respect one another as a child of God, we pray. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly, we pray. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. For all of us, that we may remain healthy and strong to weather this ordeal, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually, may we all be protected from the con from contract the virus and giving in the fear and panic, we pray. Let, Let us grow in your Lord. way of love, Lord. That Christ may bring to his eternal kingdom our departed loved ones, we pray. Let, Let us, us grow in your way of love, Lord. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. Let us we uh, celebrate the memorial of Saint Pius X. May, through his intercession and prayers, our children, our uh, teachers be protected, and may they grow in uh, the spirit of uh, faith and uh, loyalty to Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord God, you reveal your will to us through your commandments. As we bring these petitions before you, give us the grace to live out these commandments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Saint Pius X, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence 
and receive them in a spirit of faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Pope Pius X, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Pope Pius X, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people, especially our catechists, you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, especially those whom we remember in this Mass, and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together with the whole of humanity, we elevate our needs, concerns, desires, dreams to our merciful Father. In the name of all these people, we pray now to our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, especially this pandemic, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I deserve to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Pius X, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this heavenly table, we may be made constant in the faith and be one accord in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now proceed to the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament and our devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, bringing once again to His mercy the needs of our world, especially those who are suffering.
prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, image of divine love. Lord Jesus Christ, through the image of your heart, you have revealed your overwhelming love for us. We honor, we honor your, your divine, divine love. love. You were driven by it. You, the eternal word of the Trinity, took the form of a slave to be recognized in your manner and bearing as really human. We respect that holy love which inflamed and spurred you to proclaim your Father to the world, to do his will always, to offer yourself as a pleasing sacrifice to God the Father for our salvation and to consider us worthy of your service. We honor, we honor your, your human, human love, love which, which you experienced while living as a man us. among us. When, when you, you were thrilled with joy because you were filled with the Holy Spirit, Spirit. when you when were plunged into sorrow, great, great enough to break, break your heart. And so we know that although you are God in eternal love, you love your Father with a human heart as well, and you love people as your own brothers and sisters. Grateful, Grateful and, and full of confidence, we surrender ourselves to you, since we are sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any, any creature can separate us from God's love for us, which is in you, O Lord. You promise streams of living water to those who come thirsting and drink. See our joy as we drink saving waters from your font. This is the source from which we are filled with grace and every blessing from heaven. Grant us the great gift of your love which is poured forth in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Inspired by the Spirit, may we better understand how deeply you want to be loved by us with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. With your help, may we follow your new commandment, the law to love all, so that everyone will know from this that we really are your disciples. Your love impels us not to live for ourselves, but for you because you died for us and rose again. We are as tools in your hands, serving your sacred ministry of proclaiming to every nation in the world the good news from God, with a word the Almighty can accomplish immeasurably more than we could ask for or even dream of. Glory to him in his church, in you, Lord Jesus, and in all peoples through endless ages. Amen. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, we present to the merciful heart of Jesus our needs and intentions. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. And may, may the, the heart of, of Jesus, Jesus live, live in, the in, hearts in the hearts of all men. Amen. Oratio Imperata God, our, God, our Father, Father, we, we come, come to you in our need, need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. 
protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Bernadimitz, pray for us. from heaven, containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray. Lord our God, may we always give due honor to the sacramental presence of the Lamb who was slain for us. May our faith be rewarded by the vision of this glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Together we pray. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be His holy name. name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man. man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.